guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be propagating some plants, even though I said I was done propagating my plants. I lied. I think it's honestly because I'm trying not to bring any new plants into my collection. As much as I want to, I really don't have the capacity to care for another hard to deal with plant. A lot of my plants can be hard to deal with because I transfer them to semi-hydro as soon as I get them, so it does make my plant care a little harder. So for right now, I would rather just propagate the plants that I have and then slowly add some more plants into my collection over time. That's just where I'm at right now. I'm also really content with my collection right now. I think I have enough to deal with. And for the most part, I really love every single one of my plants. So let's get to chopping so we can make some more plant babies. So this is my Monstera Albo. This leaf up here is a new leaf that just came out. It has a little bit of variegation on it, but not too much. And the reason why I want to propagate it is because it has this lovely moss pull down here, and then I tried to make my own and connected it on, but it's just not working out too well, and I really don't feel like extending the moss pull right now, like buying more of those ones and extending it up. So I'm just going to propagate the plant starting from here, I think. I think that's gonna promote more variegation anyway. And all of these lower leaves are pretty green, so I don't mind propagating this plant right now, even though I literally said I wouldn't. Okay, so I'm gonna start by taking a cut from right here. Let's cut it a little further, just to be on the safe side. Is that safe enough? Okay, yeah. Wow, can't believe I just did that. And then let's see where the next cut is going to come from. I think I want to cut it all the way down to here, but I don't know. Maybe cut it right here and leave this leaf on, which is actually this leaf right here. So I'm going to leave this leaf on and cut this one off, even though it's basically all green. But let's just do it anyway. I forgot to take off the plant tape, the Velcro tape right here. So it didn't come off when I cut it, but here it is. Look at how big this aerial root is. Wow. Okay, so this is what the plant is looking like now. It's a lot smaller. And this is the top leaf right here. And it's still hanging off of the moss pole. So I'm gonna have to extend that anyway, but I'm glad I took another cut because who doesn't want more Monstera elbow? Even though I bought a dud, but we won't discuss that. So this is the first cut that I took. This is what it looks like here. Why does it have all those black marks? Who knows, but it looks like it's gonna root well because it had an aerial root about to come out right there, so that should be good to go. Very excited about that. Gonna let it callus over while we take more propagations. And then this is the other cut. I really like this leaf, how green it is with that little bit of white. But this is a pretty leaf. Hopefully it puts out some variegation. This is what the stem is looking like, so. And that philodendron varicosum propagation that I took last week is super droopy. Why? I'll show you guys that later, so make sure you watch till the end, but please tell me why it's droopy and how I can fix it. Thank you. The next plant that I really want to propagate is my Hoya obovata, my biggest one. This one right here. Imagine I saw a bloom on this, I would halt everything. There's no peduncles or blooms anywhere. I didn't even realize it just put out this new leaf right here. But the reason I want to propagate this plant is because every single Hoya obovata that I propagate and grow from like just a few propagations, they look amazing. And I want all of them to look like that. And this one just looks a little bit more lackluster than the rest. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So that one I just showed you versus one that I grew from just little cuttings. I don't know if you guys remember when I potted this little Hoya obovata up, but just look at how compact this is. It's so freaking cute. These are my favorite Hoya obovata, and they're the ones that I've grown from little cuttings. This one looks a lot less dusty than the other one. Oh, it's putting out a new leaf right there too. How freaking cute. So yeah, I'm propagating it because I want all of my Hoya obovata to look like this and not so ashy. Here's another one that I grew from just little cuttings, a lot more compact and cute. Like, look at all of these gorgeous leaves. I might have to cut it though because, I was gonna say because of this long tendril, but I think you're not supposed to cut these because a bloom can come off of this. But I just hate when there's more space between the leaves. I don't like that. Like I like for it to stay compact, so. Hopefully this one starts shooting out some leaves. Let me know if you have any tips on what I can do to promote more leaves on this long tendril. Just look at all of this delicious Hoya obovata. I can't even deal, this is so gorgeous. 
Okay, so I decided to move this party into my office, but I do have my Hoyo Obobata here and I'm going to start chopping her up. This is gonna be a one leafer. I just chopped up another Hoyo Obobata in my last video and I'm trying to learn from my mistakes because I cut all of these stems, like right here, the part that's gonna go into the perlite, I cut them a little too short, so it was really hard to get them situated. For these cuttings, I'm just making sure I make these a little bit longer so it's easier for me in the long run. It's also easier to know which side to pot down. There's another one with a few leaves on it. Nice big juicy leaves and a long stem. Oh, these are new leaves right here. Definitely gonna propagate this. This little piece with these two new leaves. Like they're literally still soft. Hopefully that's not a bad thing. Looks like it has two bubbles. Oh, these two little bubbles are actually bubbles. That's so weird, that's probably not good because I've never seen that before. But look at them, it has little moles. I don't know, maybe too much sun, who knows. Separate this. So I have all these leaves, another little cluster, and the stem is not that long, so we might struggle with this one a little bit, but we'll see. And then we have ones like this, with this long ass stem, and these two little leaves on top. But it's cute. This one is so cute. Looks like two little mouse ears. Let's not even speak mice into existence. By the way, I caught that mouse and I had a second heart attack. I'll never ever put another sticky trap in my house. I think catching the mouse is way worse than seeing it. Period. Moving on. What is this? I don't even know. I'll propagate this all the way down here though. And then put it in like that. If you dig what I'm saying. You're picking at what I'm putting down. Oh my God, it looks like something ate this leaf. Um, excuse me. I think I'm gonna cut that leaf off. The diseased leaf is gone. I'm gonna rinse all of these propagations off though, so don't you worry. There's four leaves in here. Should I leave this alone and let it grow? I feel like I should. I think we're done with this. Yeah, I'm done chopping this because there's not much stem left. Okay, so I got those all rinsed off just in case there were any little pests on them. Before we make a little prop box, I wanted to grab some Clonex gel, my Monstera Abel top cut, I have some perlite in a little cup. I'm just gonna dig a little hole, put some of the Clonex gel into the hole, and let's see if this will go in here comfortably. Oh, I need to be a little deeper. That was perfect. Very cute and it's really sturdy in there. Just gonna give it a little bit more water. There we go. I'm probably gonna put this in my greenhouse because right now all my propagations are in my Ikea greenhouse. It's such a cute propagation. Ever since this new leaf started coming out, I really wanted to just chop it, so I'm glad I did. Let's move on to the Hoya prop box. And we are going to be using some perlite that I picked up from Lowe's. I'm just gonna wet it a little bit because it just makes it easier for the propagations to go in. I'm just gonna start taking the Hoya Obovada cuttings and sticking them into this. Moving some of the propagations that we took last week into this box because they have a shorter stem. So I think it's just gonna be easier for them in here. Hopefully. Oh wow, look at this one. Just from us propagating it last week. That's where all of the roots are gonna come out. How crazy is that? Like, oh wow, look at all of them. That's so crazy. <laughs>
Can this go in here, maybe? I don't know, look how big this leaf is. Like this thing is huge. The heck? I'm just gonna put them in water. Oh my God, I did not expect this to be this crazy, honestly. Maybe this guy can go in here and he's like one of the last ones. Okay. He's covering somebody though. That's not good. Gotta put this guy's leaf. Oops. No, he's coming out. All right, put him on top of that leaf and stick him. This guy can go in water, right? I think he can go in water. You know, let's stick him in the water because he's long. A really short stem. So stick that down in there. I want this to look full, so. Oh, here goes another wicked short stem guy. So I'm gonna stick him probably over here because there's like a big empty spot. Oh no, my camera's overheating. Okay, so I got most of them into the propagation box and into the other vessel that I'll show you in a second. But I just have these two left. Let's see if I can fit one of them. It's not even like the stem or anything. It's just the big ass leaves. Like that could fit there, but the leaves have no way to go. Let's see if I can fit one right here comfortably. Okay, I guess that, that's comfortable-ish. Just gotta make sure this thing stays well watered. And then we have this one that was just in water. I have nowhere to put this though. Any room in here? I don't know where to put this last one. It's cause the leaves are so big. Like look at that wingspan. <laughs> I can't, there's way too many in here. Like way too many. One last little spot, maybe. I don't know if he's gonna stay in there though. That's the issue. <gasps> well, that solves the issue. I think I just broke one of his leaves off. Yeah, I did. Oopsies. So now he can go into the water. Problem solved. Okay, so here's another look at the prop box. Nice and full. And then we have all of these Hoyo Obavana as well. Nice and full. And if you thought I was kidding about having a bunch of propagations going right now, also have all of these. Just a bunch of everything. I think there's Golden Pothos in here, Skin Dapsis Pictus Exotica in here. I see some Hoya Pubicalyx in here. What else? I thought there was some, I thought there was some, yep, some Cebu Blue is down here. Oh, one just fell out. Some roots down there as well. Super cool. Here are some more Hoya Obovada. Look how cute this leaf is. Oh, it's still squishy and soft. But look at how nice and speckly that leaf is. So cute, but why do I have one propagation in this little jar? I have no idea. More Hoya Obovada. They all need water right now. Another Hoya Obovada prop. I think it put out these two. I think this is a new leaf right here. But you can see the roots on the outside of the cup. Cool. And here's another one with a new little baby leaf right here. Still soft. Did I water it? No. Oh my god, that was way too much. There we go. I still have my little Monstera Peru. And what do you know? It looks like he's rooting down there. So excited because this was super hard for me to propagate. This is the droopy Philodendron Varicosum cutting that I took in my last video. It's been drooped like this for days and I'm so scared it's just gonna fall off. And I did have a humidifier blowing directly on this plant, so I'm not really sure what's wrong with it. But if it doesn't perk back up, I'm going to be very sad. So let me know what I can do for this. I think I told you guys in my last video that I wanted to pot this Philodendron Burl Marks Fantasy cutting up because I felt like it would start putting out a new leaf if I did. And look at that. I was right, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what that looks like. It does look like it's gonna be significantly smaller than the last leaves, but I expected that because I didn't really grow this plant myself. I bought it from the cellar, wicked huge with beautiful, beautiful leaves. So who knows what type of magic she did to do that. But I am excited to see that it is growing and I didn't kill my little propagation, especially after this leaf came out looking like this. Does this need water? We'll keep you updated on this new little leaf we got here. That does bring me to the end of today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not. Why wouldn't you be? And until my next video, bye guys.